Hello, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital here in Ellisville, Missouri. And we're here to talk to you today about some of the springtime threats that come along with working out in the yard. When I'm not working on my four-legged friends here like Cruiser, we're out in the yard doing gardening. So we're out there digging holes and putting in plants. But there's a few things that we want to remember that these, some of these things can be very poisonous to animals. One is chemicals. Fertilizers and bone meal are certainly an irritant, at least, to the intestinal tract of a dog or a cat. Um, I used this in my yard just the other day, preen, and on the back it says, do not put in an area where pets can get to. Cruiser has an electric fence, so we're able to keep him away from that. There's actually more serious types of poisons out there, and that is your snail and mole baits. Some of the mole baits are still strychnine um, originated, so we want to be really careful with those. Those cause seizures and death in these pets, again, whether it's a dog or a cat. Another snail bait is called Antu. It's A-N-T-U, Antu. And that causes serious problems and death if a pet eats enough of it. But the other thing that surprises us is that some of these plants are actually toxic. Autumn crocus. Um, there's, a pro there's a plant called cyclamen. Lilies are very, very poisonous. Daffodils can be poisonous. And all of those are in that tulip family. The bulbs of those plants are even more toxic to these pets. And we've seen everything from shock and heart failure to seizures and neurological problems. So the bulbs are even worse than the plant itself, um, maybe with lilies being an exception. Oleander, it's got to be the plant. Um, but those, uh, those particular plants are toxic to pets, both, again, dogs and cats. The other thing that are kind of new on the market are there's a little uh, palm tree called a sago palm and those are sincerely toxic. They're indoor and outdoor, so both indoor cats and outdoor pets are prone to getting into the sago palm. The other thing that surprised us is they're making mulch from cocoa plants, from the cocoa beans. When they manufacture chocolate, they have the leftover bean. People are using that for mulch. It's a beautiful color, and it takes a long time to break down. But if you're probably going to see this with a dog, if your dog goes out and starts to eat those things, they will have true chocolate toxicity, like we've spoken in some of our previous uh, episodes. So when we start thinking about outside and spring is coming and all the good things that we get to do working in the yard, remember there are some things that can be toxic to these pets. So please be careful with those. Read labels and look online. Look at these plants and make sure that you're identifying them and keep the pets away from bulbs because they seem to be very concentrated. Again, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital. Thank you very much.